So Rome recently officially started to support CSS. Personally, one of the biggest benefit of that is that I can start use color tagging. So why is color tagging important? Here I have an example. I have a bunch of personal to-do tasks, and then with color tagging, I can give each task a category, and then、uh, it gave you a really nice. Kind of a visual cue on what are you working on. For instance, here I can see I'm mostly working on the task that's related to career, but uh, maybe uh, I'm a bit lacking on money-related tasks. So maybe I should be putting more money-related tasks. So with color tagging, I think it's、uh, give you that visual cue that's better than just blank text. So then, how we do this color tagging? Here,、uh, let's go back to the daily page. In Rome,、uh, there is、uh, if you go here, there's a help videos and help database. So if you click on help database,、uh, then you know then you're gonna get into a database of Rome. So here we're on the help database page, and if you click on the Rome code themes, there are a bunch of themes that's provided, and there's one by、uh, Maggie Appleton, and here's actually a bunch of color tagging. Code that's already provided, so we can just use that. How we do it is that in the here that you go Rome and CSS. Now you're in the Rome CSS page, and then what you do is you do a code block, and then you click somewhere else. Now you can see this one something, right? And what you do is you copy the code here. If you Scroll down, you can see there's something called code tag style, and all you need to do is just maybe copy like two of it. The rest you can modify in future. So here you paste it over, and then you need to change this from closure to CSS. And then here, then you can see that she has some color tagging for this keyword tweet and then literature notes. Here, then you go back to the daily notes. Let's say if you do a tag tweet, then you see it's being color tagged, right? If you go back, then actually you can change this text to whatever you want, right? For instance, I want this to say money. Then when I do a tag money, then it will show up like this. And here you can actually change color. So I want to say money to be like some sort of like yellowish, right? Then,、uh, if you go back to your here, if I do money, then it's orange or yellow color. So that's what we need to do. And you know, if you wanted more, then you can just copy over this part, right? And then、uh, add whatever the text you want here, and then change the color. Yeah, so that's all you need to do. It's very simple. Hope this helps. And、um, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and have a good one. Thanks.